four years, the possibility of traveling through time has been discussed. The chances of reaching the past to change our future. But there is a certain detail that is rarely discussed. What if in reality, the past no longer exists? Or perhaps it never did? That only the present exists? Today, we're going to take a look at the presentism and the falsity of reality. Our perception of time is linear. We remember the past, we live in the present, and we look forward to the future. This leads us to believe that the past is in a place that we can access through technology and perhaps change our future. But the theory of presentism proposes that this is not so, that the past no longer exists. When any events occur, these ceases to exist, or perhaps these events never existed. Even if you have memories of the past, those years are part of something that is non-existent and therefore could never be changed. This applies to future events as well. Only the present exists. Only the present is real. The past is no longer part of existence. Although you may remember it, memories of the present are created today. So the terms past and future do not make any sense. In remembering our past, we recall something non-existent. Just as in planning for the future, we plan for something that does not exist. But this presentism can even be more complicated. If there is no possible way to prove the past existed, it might not exist at all. For example, imagine that we develop technology to create a human, and then to this creation, we install fabricated memories. It would think that it has lived for years, even though it has only been operational for a short time. This leads us to an obvious question. How can we know for sure that we are humans? Did we even experience our supposed past? For all we know, the whole of humanity may have been just created five days ago, and that our memories and other evidence of our existence could be implementations by a superior being. How can you prove that you actually lived those past years of your life if you only have memories that could have been fabricated and implemented by a superior being? This may not be the case at all, but it is an example of how our reality could be no more than a mere illusion. For if our perception of time depends on our memories, these could easily be deceitful. Therefore, the only real thing we can know that exists is our own consciousness. Maybe we live in a hologram. We could have been created five minutes ago. Our reality is false with buckets over our heads, but our consciousness could be the only real thing. Clearly everything around us, including our relationships, could be no more than a mere illusion, with our consciousness being the only absolute truth. But we do not have to go so far as to imagine a superior being or an outsider implementing memories in our minds of events that never happened. Our own brains are capable of creating false memories all by itself. The false memory syndrome is a condition that has become notorious in recent years. Currently, there are experts dedicated to invalidating testimonies of people who believe they have lived or experienced an event that never happened. Patients of this syndrome. Sometimes the human brain creates false memories based on stories that have been told to us. Like maybe once your friends told you a story about something that happened to them. Then, after some time has passed, they again tell you the same story, but this time they include you in it, that you were also present during the events, and you even remember how it happened. Your friends have successfully implemented a false memory in your brain. So, if the past, as well as the future, are indeed no more than an illusion, only our present would be absolute. Fake memories are actually more common than you think because your brain does not work as a video recorder. The information that is stored in our memories can be unintentionally modified as we try to remember them. This is why witness testimonies are one of the weakest pieces of evidence, because their memories are not reliable. Perhaps we could be the result of an experiment of memory implementation, and that the human race was actually created a short time ago, we just don't know it. It is highly unlikely that something similar to this is the nature of our existence, but it is a rather interesting philosophical subject. Tell me what you think about the presentism and the non-existence of the past and future. 
and of the creation of humans using memory implementations. How can we know for sure that our past memories are real and not false information implemented by someone or something else? Thank you all for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember, assume nothing and question everything.